Hello everyone, my name is Benjamin, and if you are a Russian speaker and you are learning English, then you are in the right place. Today, I want to have some fun with you. Here I have an article from Kommersant, which is a Russian language newspaper, and this article is about stereotypes in Britain. And I want to analyze the article. And of course, you are going to learn a lot of new and useful English words. So let's get started and let's look at some of these stereotypes. The first stereotype I have here. Britain is a country where it rains all the time. <clears throat> here the commerçant says that this stereotype is a myth. Is it a myth? Well, let me just say straight up that it is not a myth. We do have a lot of rain in England. England and Britain and Ireland is a very green place because we have a lot of rain. So it is not a myth. Of course, there are times maybe in the summer when we have some dry spells some periods of time when it is pretty dry. But generally speaking, it can be quite a rainy country. If you are traveling to the UK, it is a good idea to pack an umbrella with you. The next stereotype, British people are polite, but they are insincere. The Commerçant paper says this is partially true. So, I would agree with the commerçant. It is partially true. Now, of course, we are making a big generalization here, but what does it mean to be insincere? To be insincere means to not express all the things that you are thinking, to not reveal your opinions to other people, your true opinions about something. Now, this is partially true. However, when British people like to drink, when they drink, yes, they become more sincere. But when British people are not under the influence of alcohol, then yeah, I would say we are less sincere than some other cultures like Russians or Dutch people. We are less sincere, generally speaking, than those cultures. Now, why is that? Well, let me speculate. I am just speculating. But in Russia, there was the Soviet Union. In the Soviet Union, you received a salary regardless of how well you did your job. You always got your salary. Whereas in England and America, we had more capitalistic societies in recent history. And as a result, people had to be uh, more smiley in order to make money. And this is particularly true if you work in the restaurant industry or if you work in the hotel industry. You have to be very friendly in order to make money through tips. This is definitely true in America, where waiters and waitresses make most of their money from tips. In Russia, or I should say the Soviet Union, waiters were paid regardless. So um, you did not need to smile as much. But there are some other social factors that we have to consider and this would make a very long video. So I would say yes, the commerçant is is true, um, is right about this. It is partially true that the British are less sincere than the Russians. The next one. Among British people, there are many aristocrats and intellects. The Commerçant paper says this is not true. I would say, like most countries, we have 
some intellects in our society. Of course we do. We have Oxford and Cambridge and we have many other good universities in the United Kingdom. In the same way as Russia also has some very great universities and Russia has some great intellects. I would not say that the United Kingdom is a more intellectual place than Russia, but we definitely have a lot of intellects. But does that mean to say that most people in the United Kingdom are intellects? No, we don't have intellects everywhere across the United Kingdom. But if you are from America, and you listen to a British accent, you might automatically think that a British person is more intellectual. My theory as to why this is true is because England is the birthplace of the English language and American people associate the English accent and England with history and this association with history makes British people sound wiser which means more intelligent. So maybe this is why many Americans and many other people think that there are many intellects in England. Let's move on to the next point. British people drink tea at five o'clock. British people love tea, myself included, although I need to say that this is changing. Um, more people drink coffee now in England, but I am one of those people who loves a good old English breakfast tea with milk. It reminds me of my grandparents. It is a very cozy drink, if I can say that. The Commerçant newspaper says that this is partially true. Um, do we drink tea at five o'clock? No, I don't think that's true. That's something that a lot of tourists do when they come to England. They have afternoon tea which, as you can see in the picture, is a tower of plates with sandwiches, cakes, scones, and other traditional English foods with a pot of tea. Most British people don't have afternoon tea, so that is not true. But do we like to drink tea a lot? Yes, that is definitely true. I love a good cup of tea. Okay, the next one. British people abuse alcohol. Commerçant says this is not true. I'm sorry, Commerçant, but it is 100% true. British people are alcoholics, generally speaking. Now, I actually do not drink because it gives me a really bad headache when I drink. But British people love to drink and Maybe this might sound controversial, but British people nowadays are more alcoholic than Russian people. But pubs in England are really expensive now, so maybe that might change how much alcohol people consume. But you can still buy cheap alcohol in England and it's just part of our culture. People love to get absolutely smashed, absolutely drunk. It is part of our culture and there are some good sides to this and of course there are some terrible sides to this. If you go to Europe, most Europeans think that British people are drunken idiots who destroy the lovely seaside towns of old European countries. It's true, we do. British people do destroy um, European holiday destinations. But also, British people can be really fun when they're drunk. So it depends on your opinion. The next point. <clears throat> British ladies have terrible makeup. 
Um, this is a subjective opinion, so I don't know how this can be measured. Um, so maybe we should skip this stereotype. Here it says it is partially true. Maybe it is. I personally do not care about makeup. I actually really dislike makeup. I don't like, I just don't like makeup in general. So I cannot give a good opinion on this. The next point. For breakfast in England, people are only served um, oatmeal porridge. Um, it says here, this is not true. I would say that the Commerçant newspaper here is absolutely right. It is not true. I think porridge or oatmeal or kasha, as you might say in Russian, is much more popular in Russia. Now, some people do eat porridge in England, or here it says avsyanka, so that is oatmeal porridge. But um, in England, people eat a wide range of different breakfasts. In the picture, you can see a semi-traditional English breakfast. Here you have some scrambled, I think it's some scrambled eggs, some mushrooms, some sausages and baked beans toast and a bit of i think that's butter over here loads of british people myself included love a good full english breakfast i think maybe i am right in saying that a fry up which is this kind of breakfast a, a breakfast that you fry is maybe more popular than porridge the next point over here <clears throat> Xenophobia is flourishing in Britain. Commerçant says this is partially true. I would say that, of course, there are always little bits of xenophobia in any country in the world, but I would say that this is absolutely not true at all. We do not have a problem with xenophobia in England. Even though if you read the media, you would think that um, there are racist people everywhere in the United Kingdom. But in reality, if you are from another country or if you are from a, another ethnicity, excuse me, if you have a different ethnicity to the typical white British person, you will not have a problem in the United Kingdom. The previous Prime Minister was Rishi Sunak. He is of Indian heritage. The Foreign Secretary now, David Lammy, he is a black man. The Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, he is a Muslim man of Pakistani heritage. The previous First Minister of Scotland, who um, is kind of like the Prime Minister of Scotland, he is a Muslim man, and Priti Patel was the Home Secretary um, in the previous government. And there are so many more examples of people of different ethnicities and of different cultural heritages getting into high positions in society. So I would say this is totally untrue. Xenophobia does exist in small amounts, but it is not flourishing. Um, all right, let's move on to the next point. <laughs> British food is awful. It's This used to be true. The Commissant says this is a myth. I would agree here, but I am biased because I am a British person, an English person, I should say. British food did not used to have a good reputation. In the UK, people did not really have a culture of food like you might see in France or Italy or Japan or and many other countries. But recently, British food has been made, has been revived, I should say, by famous chefs like Gordon Ramsay or Jamie Oliver. And now British food is amazing. Fish and chips, sausages and mash, so many examples of good British food. So it is a myth. We have a lot of good food in 
Britain. Let's move on to the next point. British people have bad teeth. This used to be true. British people used to have a reputation for having terrible teeth. Now, do you think my teeth are terrible? Well, let me know in the comments section. But recently, um, dentistry has become very advanced and of course in England we have, at the, in Britain I should say, we have many good dentists. So this is a thing of the past, but in America there is still this stereotype of British people having bad teeth and this definitely used to be true. There is a famous film or a series of films called Austin Powers, who is this guy over here. He is a comedian. This is Mike Myers. That's the name of the actor. He is a comedian. And in Austin Powers, he parodies a... He's kind of like a parody of James Bond, where he is a British spy and he does funny, stupid things. And in the film, in one of the films, he has really bad teeth and he looks at a mirror and the mirror cracks because of his teeth were so bad. So that was a British stereotype. Um, the next one here, this is a very famous stereotype in Russia. British scientists um, make really stupid discoveries. Commerçant says this is a myth. I would say it is actually true. If you look here, we have the British Psychological Society. And if you go to their website, you can see a lot of crazy research papers. So maybe you could have a look at this website yourself and you can see all these really interesting but crazy psychological research studies. Now, it's not true that all British scientists are crazy and they make silly research papers, but this is definitely true for British um, psychologist professors, or professors of psychology, excuse me. So, there are many other stereotypes that we could speak about. Another stereotype I would like to speak about is how British people don't take off their shoes when they come into their home. But this is not on the Commerçant um, webpage. It is not in this article. So maybe I can talk about that in another video. All right, let's finish the video there. Thank you so much for watching the video until the end. If you have any questions or if you would like to make any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I hope to see you again in another video in the future. So thank you so much and bye for now.